Here's the part three video on this C27 engine. It's gonna go in an RJG D10T bulldozer. This week, the air piping is on, the turbos are mounted. Some of this, this rear valley, it's filled now with the other intake manifold. breather how it runs right down here right there it's a turbo you can tell one turbo on each side look at the different oil feed ports that they have for this turbo for other applications Tube. So there's where air gets sucked in right there, gets cleaned through the air cleaner, goes down here, right there into the compressor wheel. And then that will get put up through other piping and go to the front of the machine to an air-to-air -air after cooler to cool it in front of the in behind the radiator, I believe. And with the guards on this alternator. There's the water pump. There's your heater hose outlets that run up to the cab, HVAC, or the heater in the cab. AC compressor, guard over it. Just looking down into the valley. So after the air gets cooled up at the front of the machine, piping will carry it back and it'll go in to those two, one, two, those two elbows right there into the intake manifold. There's a turbo on the other side. bracket for the air cleaners. As you can see there's that there's the wiring going into the cylinder head that last week it just had a plug there. A little more on these coolers here. Somebody can correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. But this circular one right back here, I believe that's your engine oil cooler. I believe this, the one with the square inlet elbow on it is the hydraulic oil cooler. And I believe this big one down here on the bottom is for the powertrain oil. D11. If you look, if you remember that 3508 video, this hydraulic cooler was sitting out here in the front, going this way, and it looks real similar to that. It might be a little bit bigger. I don't know. It might be the same one, but as you can see, here's where your lines for the actual oil hook up to them, right there, right there, and as you can see. The engine oil cooler is right back there. And right there's where everything goes into the block on this side. Look at that big ground wire right there for the all 
alternator. I think it's pretty heavy duty. And there's the ECM mounted right there to the top of that cylinder head. They say that the closer you can get these ECMs mounted, it's less distance the signals have to travel through the wiring, so that's why they mount it right there and not up on the firewall in front of the cab or anything like that is what I've been told. I will get a new air filter cover lid on this side. Both sides got new, so those are pretty Normally those are damaged. There's your sensor for the, I believe that's the air inlet temperature sensor. Or it might be a restriction, I, can, I don't know for sure. Here's the oil pan. We'll look at it. Maybe another video next week, there might be a part four. Thanks everybody for watching.